Hello, chat. I hope you all like today's episode. I hope you all liked it indeed. I uh, had a little time, so I messed around a bunch with my uh, stream overlay. I got one of those derpy jars that that things will drop into for subscriptions and donations. I I think it works. I don't know. And I got a I got a tip ticker too. But uh, the new change log is already out. Um, other things you might notice on a stream. Huh. I don't see chat. Why is chat not showing up? I feel like that's an oversight on my part. It should be showing up. Is that... Uh... Yeah, okay. Oh, I see, I, I see you guys. I'll just move you up a little bit. Okay, yes. Uh, so, uh, just oh, give me a second, too. My cat decided to pitch a fit. I have to feed him. Um, maybe he'll come by for uh, cat cam in a second. Uh, vibe out to uh, some Turtle Wow composer music while I'm gone. Just a second. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> so, uh, let's get right down uh, to business. First thing I wanted to show off. Um, so, and also let me know if I, it feels like the music's too loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Let me know. Let me know how the uh, audio balance is. But uh, this this came across my news desk today. I had to share this. Um, let me see, where is it? Is it this one? So, um, that might look like some kind of version of, uh, of Turtle Wow Radio. Yeah. So, uh, Retail's new Battle Royale thing is now, <laughs> I mean, what is the saying? Um, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I, I just think it's wild they actually put that in. I don't actually know if it's actually a part of their <laughs> part of their suite, but I, I had to show that off. I saw that, I'm like, no way. Okay, so we are blessed today. Uh, right off the bat, boom. We got we got a change log, people. We got a change log. Look how scary this picture is too. I don't I don't know where this is from. Uh, but very well done. Whoever whoever takes the pictures and does these little assets for the um, for the team, great stuff. Great stuff. Keep it up. That's what I say. Um, I think that is behind that. Okay. Mm, excuse me. Uh, let me just say, uh, hello, uh, Aka Akahara, Ty Durden, uh, hello, I saw you in the premiere, Lizzie Babs, as always, a pleasure, Nick Rating, good to see you, Dragonovi, shout out to the itemization team lead, Lax Elv, Riddle, good to see you as well, of course, that cute little doodle of Rograg in the lower left-hand side, that is Riddle's work, uh, if you ever want a nice cute doodle done by Riddle, I think, I think his commissions are open. You can find him on Twitter at Riddle of Lightning, I believe. Um, so yeah. So generally they put like the big highlight ones here. So when we get to them down below, we'll skip. But uh, yeah, Hunter Pets will now utilize Dash Dive more intelligently. Um, haven't played a Hunter, so... I will let any hunters in chat tell me what that means. What that means for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I can't honestly... I mean, I know so, some of the scripting on some AI stuff's a little janky, but it's hard to tell what is... Uh, what's vanilla <laughs> at times. 
Um, Ricky, so the first change, this is the change log from today, by the way. Um, the first note is hunter pets will now utilize dash dive more intelligently. So, yeah. Um, just let me know if that's a good deal. I, I don't know. Uh, Dragonovi says, if I had to guess it, hold on, I want to see if this works. I want to, hold on, I'm just going to try something out. Does this actually work? I pinned something. Does that do anything to my stuff? Uh, chat highlight? Nope. No, it doesn't. Okay. I was just testing something out. I don't think it works. <laughs> uh, probably only uses... Uh, wait, why'd, you, why'd you pin again? Unpin you. Oh, I see, I see. Um... To close the difference between its target instead of casting it on cooldown. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, pets use the focus resource. Focus resource, if anyone doesn't know, is like a resource that the team... When I say the team, I mean like the original developers were thinking of using, but I'm pretty sure they abandoned it. I don't know how it works, but... Um, it has an orange bar. I know that much. Um, it, yeah, you know... Uh, Lizard Babs, what I was trying to do, I have something in my stream overlay that should, like, bring up pinned messages. Um, I think I'm, it might have to be something I do through Streamlabs, which is a shame, because stream, <laughs> Streamlabs breaks all the time. Hold on, let's see if this works. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. It patently doesn't. Okay, I'm moving on. Succubus pets will now make smarter decisions regarding the use of seduction. I also have never played a warlock. I understand that for both hunters and warlocks, um, what distinguishes in many ways a good hunter or warlock player from a bad one is pet micromanagement. I thought seduction was just something you could tell the succubus to do. I'm guessing that's incorrect. Um, yeah. I, m maybe it's just something they do off cooldown? I don't know. But it seems like they've been screwing around with the script on the AI for pets. I'm surprised, though, because I thought that would need to be a uh, client-side change. So that's interesting. And usually client changes require uh, a patch. Riddle says, sometimes a succubus will seduction while also auto-lashing to break their... <laughs> oh, no. That's terrible. Um, okay. We have implemented additional safeguards in the Four Horsemen encounter script to prevent exploits that allow players to pull them out of the room or to engage only a single horseman. I thought there was some of that that was already in. There must have been some new cheese that some uh, clever team thought of that they had to put the kibosh on. I would love to know where those reports come in because those reports rarely would come across a bug tracker. In the past, it wouldn't be on GitHub, and nowadays it's not on the normal bug tracker. So um, I'm assuming either GMs are watching sometimes or they have an informant who's letting them know but either way i'm glad to see them trying to make the content fairer uh yeah exactly nick like um like if i wanted to for whatever reason and actually i've done it before to watch uh certain raid teams like make like their first attempt at something uh i can use my gm tune to teleport to an instance to like watch um i again i've really have no reason to but i know gms can do that um if they do that is is a different question added missing traps to the warpwood pods in dire mall ah ha, ha, ha. so to those who just like dire mall which is actually myself and i consider many other people some people just like the feel, the vibe of Dire Mall. The dungeons are fun. They're, they can be challenging at times, and they're like, 
uh, they just have like a good aesthetic to them. Now I have uh, done a little bit of exploring to see what I could do on my own with Vrograg and Obompswin, like dual boxing, just to see like, just to challenge myself really, like how far could I go? And one thing I noticed in my travels was that I, I'm like, I could have sworn the Warpwood pods had like a percent chance to be a trap. Um, but I had never seen it happen. And I think it just does damage or like, uh, puffs out like a, a smoke cloud. I think that's what the trap does. But yeah, I'd never seen that. Um, so it looks like they've, that looks like that was something that was missing. Oh, that, thank you, Revolver. You, you are correct. It can entangling roots you as well. Okay, let's get into the meat and potatoes here. Ooh, this is, ooh, ooh, we got it. We got a good amount. I'll try to, I'll try to whip through these somewhat quickly. Again, uh, let me know if anything's off with the audio balancing. Some, sometimes this music goes hard. Okay, uh, corrected an issue where major Packin accidentally aggroed Colonel Zarin's mob in AQ20, causing both waves to merge. I've seen that happen once. Uh, pretty sure we died, but um, I thought it was just a happenstance. Sometimes weird things happen. Uh, Kayleen, you didn't you didn't miss anything. This is just uh, the change log from today. That's all it is. Uh, it was released early enough that I was able to um, do a stream and show everyone. So you're good. Ooh, Ty, that's rough. <laughs> all right. Resolved a bug preventing Gogorok from aggroing after spawning. What is Gogorok? I got to know. Gogorok? I have never heard of this this enemy. Um, it's a spider. Um, don't know what it's for. Okay, mysteries abound. Players will now automatically be dismounted upon exiting a battleground. What? Why is that? Why is that important? <laughs> Can I, why? Does anyone know? Hello, Koi's. Good to see you. Yeah, I don't know what this this is about. I'm sure someone who's much more invested in PvP would might know why this matters. You can be mounted inside after BG. Well, um. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Revolver. Thank you. So, Revolver is telling me that. If you were mounted while in a battleground, when you get pushed back, it will allow you to be mounted while being inside. I see that. Okay. Thank you. Seal of Dawn, Rune of Dawn, and Mark of the Champion will now display the same visual indicator aura when equipped consistent with the Argent Dawn Commission. Now, to anyone who doesn't know about this particular little thing... Um, You've probably noticed the non-Argent Dawn Commission trinkets won't display a buff. Um, and I don't know if, if this is like a backdoor way of fixing that. But for anyone who's uh, using those, like it's especially important in Naxxramas, of course. But in, in the past, if you zone in or zone out or you die... If for any reason your buffs get removed, you should always remember to re-equip your trinket to make sure you are getting the benefit of the trinket. Um, I didn't know this actually until an embarrassingly late time, like a couple months ago. I would hear people say, you know, equip your undead trinkets. And I thought people were just reminding me in case I had somehow forgot, but but it's because of that. So I'm curious, though, if this change will also address this. I'll have to take. I'll have to look into it and ask around. That's interesting. Introduced a verification check for cooldown lengths 
upon login to address issues of players facing incorrect cooldowns due to partially written data after a server crash. Okay. Um, this sounds like boring backend stuff, but I'm sure this will help someone. Removed experience point rewards from repeatable quests involving... Ah, so... Uh, armor scraps, storm spikes, soldiers, blood, and storm crystals in Alterac Valley. If anyone was watching the episode that just came out, um, last week we learned that these items became tradable, which is a great boon to those in AV because it allows uh, either side to essentially give all their stuff to a runner who will go back to turn them in. But it seems like it didn't take long for someone to go, oh, hey, like I'm only level 53. Just give me all your scraps, guys. I'll go run it back. And they're just doing it for XP. I, I, I thought those didn't give XP. But I, I guess I was incorrect. Adjusted the drop count for the item as your whelpling to one. Huh? As your... Well, no, you got, I'm sorry, don't have it really well framed up here. Sorry about that. Um, you guys can see a little more. So it says it's dropped by the Azure scale well. It's prob well, I could probably do it by this, right? The least likely thing to drop. Oh, wait, nope, I'm wrong. Okay, let's... Let's go back to that. Now, this can drop a lot of things, but I'm not seeing where it shows that it could drop one to two. Usually you can find, like, deprecated data like this on the database, because usually it's not updated as quickly. Okay, I'm not I'm not seeing this. I believe that it gets dropped. These are all 0.5% drop chances. Uh All right. I'm not All right. I I believe that it drops, but I don't know. No. Well, I guess someone getting two is a pretty good boon. I've never farmed these, but um, I know some people like to. So that's nice. Okay. Uh... <laughs> yeah, exactly, Kaylin. Set drop chances for items. Recipe, greater frost protection potion, greater nature protection, greater shadow, greater arcane to Blizz-like standards. Hmm. I wonder what that what that means. Um, let me see here. So we go to WoW WoWhead classic. Okay. Um no, nope, we just want classic, and then we're going to go look for uh, greater frost protection. There's that, and let's see. This drops off of frost small giants at 5%. So let's take a look at here. Greater frost protection. I spelled, I must, frost protection all right um there it is so this so it dropped less often hmm i didn't know there was uh such a need for that but that, that's okay i mean the server's pretty old at this point so i'm surprised that there's like a lack of, it's probably not for any reason i'm thinking but I know a lot of team, times the team just wants things to match um, Blizz-like, so I, I, I get it. Or 
Well, I exactly, Nick. That That's sort of what I'm saying. Like, drop chances for a lot of patterns are very high. I just didn't know the protection potions were low. Well, I mean, because according to that, according to this, if, if what I'm reading here, right, because this says, this says 5%, right? And it's a frost, oh, you can't see it. It's on a frost mall giant. And this is also on a frost mall, mall giant. And this is deprecated data. So this is 2%. Then it looks like they're making it easier to get. So maybe it's just, to, maybe it's to make everything match. I, I don't know. Um, there, It might be different in other exam. I don't want to go through all of them, but um, it, it's out there. Uh, remove the cottontail rabbit pet from innkeeper's sales list. What? Is it, is that just because innkeepers weren't supposed to sell it? That's a weird one. Cotton tail rabbit. There it is. Um, Yeah. So how are you supposed to get it? I don't know. Has the reset happened? You guys should run to either Alania Firestorm or Torskar Tork Spark Boom Wrench in Dunmore. Oh, you know, this is this is Alliance. Well, this is Alliance Horde. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, this is your only chance. Go get it. <laughs> Go get it before they're gone. It, that's if the reset hasn't happened yet. Lord Falcon Crest's Syndicate quest chain is now fully accessible. NBC Auto will no longer attack players who have the reputation with the Syndicate. Um, hmm. I remember... A long time ago, we're talking years ago, when I was leveling up Vrograg doing some syndicate things and then just kind of being like, ah, I just kind of want to move on. But I remember hearing that something about the quest chain wasn't complete. Now, is that making it fully accessible? Is that vanilla behavior or is that something that they added? Let's see if we can look. Lord Falcon. Falcon Crest. Falcon Crest. NPC. So he starts. Oh, these are all Alliance ones. I thought he, oh wait, no, I'm thinking, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of um, Ravenholt maybe? This, uh, this is Ravenholt though, right? Oh no, Syndicate's the bad guys against Ravenholt. I didn't know Alliance uh, dealt with this. Interesting. Well, GG Alliance uh, rogues. Okay. Relocated a blocked mithril deposit in Western Plague Lands to a nearby location. I think this one has been located underground for a long time. Or maybe this is one that is right next to a zone barrier and people would see it, then walk up close to it, and then it would vanish or it would appear visible and then you could never get it. Ugh, you hate to see when that happens. Um... 3580, yeah, that I think that's a border area. Fix the quest in abundance with the prince to ensure the quest giver is always available for interaction. Okay. Added missing tra Oh wait, no, we already did this one. We already did this one. Right? Because that was up here? Yeah. Okay. I thought I was losing my mind. Fixed an issue with the haste one spell effect granting 2% spell and range haste instead of great. Now I got to get my gloves re-enchanted. 
I, I thought it felt better than 1%, but I'm like, I don't know. I'm not good at math. <laughs> um, there is an enchant. Um, it's this one. Haste uh, and categorize. This one. 1% attack and casting speed bonus. Um, some classes, there's not many that prefer haste because haste doesn't do well unless you stack a ton of it. And there's usually something better you can get. Uh, but I do have this on like uh, some crit gloves for a bomb swim uh, for like trash and whatnot. Just because I, I think when I enchanted those gloves, the nature power enchantment wasn't out. And this was the reality for um, some elemental shaman because there really wasn't a good enchant for gloves until uh, until that patch came out. So I didn't know it was giving 2% though. That's crazy. Implemented checks on the four horsemen. Okay, I think we, we also covered that because that was up here, right? Yeah. Um, okay, we, we covered this already. That was at the top. Adjusted respawn timers for young gore tusks to prevent them from respawning too quickly. Um, for the Alliance people in chat, uh, young gore tusks is like, I think what you find in like the or control starting area. I didn't know they could spawn too quickly. I mean, they're like level one through four or five, but I, I could see I could see it being a problem. <laughs> uh, Nick, I see your little your little donation. Thank you very much. And yeah, they. They seemingly never have the body parts that the quest givers are asking you for. Make sure to watch stream two to see if the, the tip cup thing works. I have no idea if it will or not. <laughs> it's definitely there. I, I also have no idea how long these, uh, it seems like sometimes with like the things I install, like I think sometimes they make YouTube kind of an afterthought. So the lag on them can be pretty bad. Koisin, I know. Yeah, no, n Nick's not crazy when he's saying that. He, it's it's true. It like they just refuse to drop. Uh, live. Oh wait, is that the one from um, you know? Let's let's just get young gore. Where where are they? Young gore. Cause now I'm thinking that might be the one in Westfall. Okay. This is what I call dedication. I still spelled it wrong. Seriously? Gore. Is it two word? Gore tusk? Gore tusk? Gore tusk with an E? Oh my god, that was it. Um, so NBC's young gore tusk. Alright, so no, I was miss I was not thinking correctly. So that is the one for um Oh yeah, this one. You know, I haven't played Alliance in a long time. I mean, even I remember how bad this quest is. <laughs> they could just fix how often it drops its liver. Uh, what did it say there for the liver, right? Uh, Gortusk liver. I mean, I don't know if I believe that. 32% of the time. I don't know if I believe that personally. Okay. Address gram grammatical errors in the key to Karazan 7 quest. Key to Karazan. I love how I can spell. Well, I thought it's Karazan. It's K H A R A Z H A N. Did I put too many H's in there? I think I put two. Kara Z H A N. Yeah. Quests. Uh, it's this one. Let's see if we can find the grammatical error. Because they said... Return to Corgan in Stonard with the information given by Gunther Arcanus. 
My, my, such potent energy. I had always guessed that Karazhan had natural light energy. In fact, it was rumored within Dalaran. Corgan was correct to bring me these bring these samples to me. They will make good for future projects. The energy that lingers beneath the arcane is that of necromancy, and quite potent necromancy at that. Long ago, I spent some time at Karazhan. I was under mission, I, I guess that's okay, from the Kirin Tor to look into the natural energy that lingered there. There is no doubt the work of Alaris, a student of Medi for a brief period of time. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah, he spent too much of his later days attending the crypts that stretched far beneath the tower. So far, I don't see any gra grammatical errors. If your task is to enter those catacombs, you will need to reforge the key. It requires a mark of Karazan, held by few who are given entrance into the tower, as well as the key itself. Bring this information to Corgan, perhaps he will find a solution to this problem. And then completion says, so my suspicions were correct. The power that has begun to rise is coming from below Deadwind Pass. Well, then we must make haste, unless a great evil comes to threaten the Horde. Um... Oh my, I just read the wrong quest, didn't I? The key to Karazhan part. Ugh, son of a... <sighs> Alright, I'm going I'm to speed read this. Yes, yes, sir. Create his minds in the Kirin Tori. He was your friend of Medivh. You can believe such a... Th if you, uh, though some might argue that Medivh had no true friends... After the devastation of Dalaran at the hands of Archmon, Vandal suffered injuries to, uh, eventually retired as one of the most accomplished mages in our time. I seem to recall him expressing a desire to settle in or around Theramore. If he still lives, I suggest asking for the key itself. One of our apprentices, Mages Hallister, might know where its whereabouts. I, I mean, still looks fine. Maybe, maybe the, I mean... Maybe they put a comma in the wrong spot. I mean, I'm not one to judge. Corrected the subclass for the Ring of the Deep Sea, allowing it to be disenchanted. Every now and then you see one of those. Fixed the sheath position for the Sickle of Unyielding Strength. All right. Corrected the skin index for the Night Elf Necromancer skin token. Okay. <laughs> Rogues can now be seen easily by their fellow raid members. You know, fun story about that. If you have done BWL on Turtle WoW and you've played a rogue, you have probably been uh, introduced to this experience by doing what I would call... Uh, you have to bring out a pet. Like, whether it's a Kodo, whether it's just a little steam tonk you need to bring out a pet because um no one can see you and when there's hunters that are like pulling stuff um they might pull a hatcher right over you which usually means you're gonna die because uh the hatchers have a aoe uh just like an aura that knocks you out of stealth and then a bunch of whelpling jump on you and then you die right that's generally what happens so, um, this is nice. I wonder what that's going to look like. Because I don't know. But I'd love to see it. Um, that's probably the one spot where it's pretty difficult. Although, I can imagine in some PvP encounters, um, knowing that there's a rogue nearby who can help you. If, like, you're in a bad matchup or you're in, like, a 2v1. I can imagine, like... It could be helpful to be like, okay, I can maybe try to hold out for a little bit longer. The rogue's on his way versus dying and be, and then the rogue whispering you and being like, oh man, I was right there. You know, like, um, so that's nice, at least. Well, you know, you know, terrible. That's true. Um, however, uh, the thing is, is that because you're because rogues are primarily stealth for suppression room the issue is that 
they don't necessarily know where you are. Like, they know that you should be ahead or behind them, right? But they don't know if you have moved to the next uh, trap to disarm it. Um, or they don't know if, like, maybe you're behind. It, it is, I will say, like, in because it, it's usually hunters pulling the hatchers. In their defense, like, they just want to pull those hatchers in. Um, if they see that there's a hunter between them, like, they they could hesitate, which would be a good thing. Um, also remember most rogues who are doing suppression room have the slowest version of stealth too. So, you know, uh, suppression room, you kind of want to get through it quick and then you have, you know, some people like, oh man, we missed our window to pull, but, um, so yeah, it's, it's a nice thing. Uh, I'll be interested to see how that manifests. Exactly terrible. Oh, but apparently this change says rogues can now be seen easy by our fellow. So, like, if they can see you, you might not always need a pet out now. <laughs> uh, rogues are required to put out to put out follow pets for progress. That's right. And you want to put out the big pet, but then if you have too big of a pet, when you actually get into a fight, people are like, "Ugh, will you just put your pet away?" <laughs> I hate that. I'm like, I'm just trying to survive. Um, okay, so, I mean, that was the change log. That's what, that will, that's what we got. Um, let me see here. Did anyone see if, like, a little thing went into the cup for Nick's donation? I, I thought I said it would. Or, I thought it would, but I wasn't watching, I was reading. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Also, it doesn't even look like the tip ticker even, like, even acknowledged the super chat. Because I don't see Nick Raiden up the top either. Oh, boy. I, I really love Streamlabs. They just kind of phone it in for this stuff. Anyway. Uh, so that's a change log. Um, where, where is that? We can get rid of this. So did uh, any uh, did anyone have any uh, questions about the episode that just aired? Did anyone have any questions about this stuff? Uh, any open-ended questions about uh, uh, community council things? About uh, economic uh, troubles or lack thereof? Um, if anyone wants to, I can... Uh, I can stir up a chart in a jiffy if you need it. Uh, how was my, you know Riddle? Thank you for asking. How was my day? My day was was a, it was a pretty long day. I had a I'm a delivery driver uh, by trade, and I was doing a delivery today that I I just wanted to pull my hair out about. <laughs> Good idea, Riddle. You don't want Carpal Tunnel to be worse. Um, I know Murag uses uh, Wrist Brace because I know she gets like some mild tendinitis when she plays for too long. Oh, what if I just... Oh, did I get rid of it? No. It's back. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, Riddle. I did actually change the, um, I changed the, like, little graphics that will appear in the cup. So, like, uh, I, I don't remember, like, the denominations or, like, how I worked it out, but, like, the cup will actually, I, I think, like, the biggest donations are, like, little, little diamonds, I think, and then, like, Medium donations are gold bars and low ones are silver. And I think subscriptions are copper. I, I think if it's working, I don't think it's working. <laughs> um, what it Nick is telling me that it is a Zeppelin location. <laughs> Thanks, Riddle. <laughs> 
Um, let me see. I'm kind of curious now too. Uh, let me let me log in. I want to I want to check this out for myself. Uh, I'll put over the. Uh, um, The actual gameplay once I finish logging in so I don't I don't dox myself. Um oh Vrograg, why are you a gnomer? Ugh. He's a gnomer, everyone. Uh let's see if I can keep I just I made this uh ah. I kinda wanna take this along with me to gameplay. Uh get rid of that and get rid of that. Okay. Oh, you're you're just ref okay. There it is. If anyone wants to know what Nomergan looks like for me, <laughs> here it is. Um, there, that's. Uh, I'll just leave this down here so you guys know what music's playing. Okay, so let's see. And and yes, this is perfectly normal, perfectly natural. I'm going to use my wormhole generator here to get to Ogremar quick. Um, so, Revolver, uh, you might notice that when I do my news broadcasts, um, I have Vrograg now just... I can't... It's not really green screen, but I have him... Uh, alpha in, I guess you could say, on... Uh, on, like, a, a moving background. And I do that with a... Um, I, I have a magenta background, so I have, like, any gnomish textures on my client are just, like, magenta now. Now, they'll look from magenta all the way down to, like, I don't know, like, purplish if it's dark. But there's a really good spotlight in Gnomergan that, like, does, like, the perfect even magenta tone. And so I use that, uh for uh, for that purpose. You know, I'm going to go to... I think it was in the Twin Colossi. Uh, no, Riddle. I didn't I didn't forget to load in textures, though. It's, it's, it's purely for recording purposes. It, like, you actually might have seen, like, I had to change my action bar profiles. I know it's not... Uh, let me just get rid of this for a second. If you look down at my bar, like, these are all, like, abilities, right? You have, like, Ghostly Strike and Riposte. Um, I just switched out of this. This is my emote setup. So here's like, nod, talk, huh, no, yell. So like, the last time I was on Vrograg, I was, I was recording Machinima. So, um, uh, that's why I was in Nomer. Now you guys know how the sausage is made. Um, so it, Riddle, it actually depends largely on a couple things. Um, also let me see if I can, um, I'm just flying. Hold on. I want to grab something. I want to grab, I want to grab this tip jar. I'm taking the tip jar with me. I don't know any other way to grab it. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, not there. Not th no, 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 don't do that. Uh, paste reference. Okay, so so it still has things in it. Oh, also, I don't think anyone put those in there. I think it just starts with some. I don't know, man. Yeah, I'll put I'll put this over here. And I think, uh, yeah, chat should be over there. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, chat's over there. What's this? Is this a lurk box? I don't even know. Yes, yeah, so I'm stealing my... I, I think I can even, like... I can test my own widgets, I think? Actually, uh, maybe I can... Oh, boy. I really don't want to break anything. Test a widget. 
Um, let's pretend to, to, to... Wait, Nick, did you did you do a super chat or did you do a tip? I don't know. Um, Ricky, I don't really mind the games. I'm just not really... Saying you're an Oblivion... Uh, saying you're an Elder Scrolls fan is sort of a pretty big say, you know? There's a lot there. Ah, uh, thank you, Nick. Okay. Okay, so I saw the, I saw the thing work over there. Oh, it makes a mess? What's going on here? Okay. Well, it works for me when I do it. <laughs> um, but, uh, sorry, to get back to you, Ricky. Um, I, I've played Oblivion. I've played Skyrim. I never played Morrowind. Um, when I, when I was growing up, my family didn't have like a good computer. And then when we did have a computer, I was not allowed to play video games on it. So yeah, what are you going to do? No, Nick, I just left Nomer. How can that be? <laughs> do you play at time? Uh, I, I've... Let's see, I haven't played Skyrim in a minute. I've definitely played Skyrim before. I think I've played Skyrim probably a little bit more than I've played Oblivion. It's a, I think ultimately what ends up happening with those games is that um, I, I really like the lore of those games and I like the aesthetics, but like the gameplay loops they offer are really shallow at times. And uh, I end up just, I just, much more enjoy walking around and just doing stuff and just cheating in things and just being goofy with the physics more than actually like engaging with the content which maybe isn't the best but um that's honestly how i've had the most fun with those games um i did one summer i think i played like it must have been like an xbox 360 version of oblivion i played that a lot one summer but um uh, I think what Elder Scroll games have given to meme culture is more valuable than the games at times. Uh, and Real says, I keep coming back to WoW in classic form because it's gameplay first of all. Yeah, it, it, uh, it really does have that sort of appeal. And I, I think what's always nice about it is that, in a way, as long as you're, like, on, like, a... Not, like, a pay-to-win server, like, it feels like the time you invest is, like, um, time well spent. And... It uniquely has its own culture. I'm not saying, like, other MMOs don't have cultures. They, they totally do. But I think WoW has, like, another sort of layer of culture upon it. Um, and that sort of makes these really interesting communities, which I've been no stranger about enjoying and appreciating. Okay, so I'm gonna go... So my understanding, right, is that... I should probably get my directions out. <laughs> I should probably... Okay, hold on. Um, where, where am I going? Uh, I want to use, oh no, did I lose it? No, it's gotta be here somewhere. It's on this one. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's still using it. Okay. So we're going to use this one to show off. Okay, let's see if we can cotton tail. All right, and this is sold in Feralis by Elania Firestorm, who evidently is right here. But I, I don't know how to get up there because I think that's on one of the twin colossi. Um... All right, we'll we'll check it out before the cottontail rabbit's gone for good. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Thank you, Riddle, for reciting the lines of Rick Astley's greatest music work ever. Doesn't uh, doesn't Traveler have like a base over there too? Uh, yes, Alessandro, we are playing um, the game which appears in video. I I will find a way on top of that tower. Mark my words. I want this cottontail rabbit. It's probably gonna be a limited stock, and it's gonna be gone. Um, so, so yeah, Nick, I think that is because there's a traveler guild base there. I think that's what you might have seen. Also, I should probably be not walking around in my, uh, my civilian clothing. There, that's a little better. Just in case I get into a scrap, I don't want to be fighting in my, um, finely made clothing by Serendipity. Uh, I feel a little bit more secure with two swords. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, now that I, I didn't know it was there, but now that I know it might be gone. How do y'all do that? Oh, that, that quick armor change, that was, um, I use Outfitter. And I have like a bunch of armor sets that are all like predetermined. You can see there, it like lists everything that's part of that set. And then uh, like, this is like uh, birthday suit, just my reporter stuff, but I have like an alternate one and all this stuff. That's what I do to get on my stuff real quick. And speaking of uh, ganking uh, riddle, I was talking in uh, theory crafting today. I had a very um, encouraging discussion with some people in there. Uh, Haxer, uh, one of the developers, uh, was asking about anything that players think uh, the UI might need, the user interface. And there were some ideas thrown about. And uh, an idea that I've been uh, I, I, can't, I won't say like I've been a proponent of it for like a long time because like I, I don't think I've even fully thought it out but I always thought it would be really cool if uh, there was a game mode alright hopefully it's this lady uh, that you could just do that would flag you as your RP oh I'm flying up woo alright let's get it is this alright let's check my map I'm on the wrong Colossal. Will they transport me over? Oh, that's cute. I didn't know this existed. Nice. Um, so, so it lasts for 20 seconds. Uh, how do I get to the other one, though? All right, we'll have to look around a little more. Do I have to use it? Yeah. Oh, it, hold, whoa, hold on. It said 20 seconds. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, this is a shame. I'm sorry you had to see that. Hey, if you, okay, you guys saw, if you go back on the VOD, you can see it said it lasts for 20 seconds. I thought it was, that was like, what, 10, maybe? Oh, geez. Sorry about flashbanging, you guys. The res screen's kind of bright. It, it did. It literally lied to me. I would have just put on my parachute cloak if I, I, I know revolver. I would, but I didn't even know it existed till today. I will, because I, I guarantee you, I'm not the only person that said, "Oh, 20 seconds of slow fall, I'll be fine." I tell you that those other 10 seconds of slow fall for a rogue, that was the difference between life and death. Like, if I was not a character that had the fall reduction penalty uh, removal, like uh, cats and rogues, I I honestly would have... I, I would have waited to drop a little bit more before popping it. Am 
I am I losing? Oh wait, maybe it was 20 silver. Maybe I'm thinking 20 silver. Oh, I don't want to be wrong now. I just jumped to my death for no reason. That's all right. That's all right. We keep going. Now we got to find a way on top of this colossal. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm down 20 silver and one death. I I think falling to your death doesn't affect item durability, though. Eisenstall, the breaking news is that Vrograg doesn't know how to read. <laughs> that's, that's the breaking news. Vrograg struggled in elementary school. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was great. It was great. I uh, confident, I confidently jumped off of a twin colossal. For something in my head made me think that the parachute a vendor up there sells you lasts for twenty seconds. It did not last for twenty. It lasted for ten. And everyone, uh, everyone, la even if they didn't laugh at me in chat, they were laughing in their hearts. Oh, y you know, Blade, that's a good, sorry, Blade, hold on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, um, uh, a guilty of mine isn't for me that it said 20 minutes on the item because after that the unique item will disappear <laughs> it was a valiant fight yeah You know, Anna Real, you, you joke about the news anchor can't read the teleprompter. I will write out scripts and then I will look at them and start reading them and just and just absolutely butcher words. Sometimes like I can be like a one take Jake and just bang them out real quick. And then other days my brain's like, eh, I don't feel like I don't feel like doing anything right now. I'm feeling kind of lazy. I'm just going to my body's up high. Man. Come on, let me up, let me up. Oh, all right, all right, we're good. Um, but I'm, I would say I've definitely gotten better at it over the nine or so months I've been doing this, nine, 10 months. I don't know, I started in like late May. We're, co we're coming up on a year, guys. That's That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's see if we can get up to this one. Is there, okay, that's a, there's the, uh, this guy I've already talked to, right? He's gonna send me to the wrong one. We don't wanna talk to that guy. Is anyone in Traveler in chat right now <laughs> and can summon me there? I'm pretty sure that's the Traveler guild base. Yeah, there's a... Uh, I don't think you can get up there. So the only people I can get it are Alliance? This is outrageous. More Alliance bias on the Turtle WoW server. First they took Stormstrike from the Shamans, and now this? I don't think there's... Okay, does anyone know a way over there? Um, well, you know, uh, Nick, by the way, uh, you're saying the problem isn't reading. The problem is reading naturally without, um, silted talking. So that's actually one of the reasons I do scripting. It really helps with that. It, it actually, your brain doesn't have to fill for time. It's trying to process what you're supposed to say next. So it just goes. 
Also, there's the Zeppelin that Nick saw, but you'll see that that Zeppelin never moves because that's part of the Traveler Guild base. Oh. Yeah, most guild bases are inaccessible. Well, many of them are inaccessible. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, let's just let's just look at our uh, our handy dandy thing here again. Um, okay, so that was one way of getting it right. The other was torque spark boom wrench. Well, hold on, well, hold on a second. I do have a dwarf. Bank alt. Wait a minute. This is another guild base. Look where it is. Cause that's that's Nomer, and Nomer plus. <laughs> but yeah, I, it would still. I'm pretty sure this is this is a uh, a guild base area. I'm almost positive. Oh, it's inside Nomer. Yeah, but I can't. Um, I can't talk to people with throat. Well, uh, let me see here. What's my other way of doing this? Um, all right, I'm going to, well, Reinhardt, I know you can take me there, but I can't get the rabbit. Because the innkeeper will try to kill me. <laughs> I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure. But I can definitely get there with an alliance tune. Hold on. Let me um, let me throw you guys over to the spot while I log off. So you guys don't get to dox me. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Riddle? Riddle, you're cooking. You're cooking. That's a fantastic idea. Wait, will that will that work? Hold on. Um, it's so funny. I have two dwarf mages whispering me at the same time, offering to help. Um, I, I, I appreciate that. I, I really want to see if I could actually um buy it rightfully while being mind controlled. Uh Blade, if you're if you're hearing this, um I would love to test that out. I have to figure out the best way for me to get to Iron Forge though. Um hmm. I am nowhere near Iron Forge. Um are there any alliance mages nearby? Wait. Yeah, because then, well... Oh, would I be able to sneak out? Uh, go to the docks. I can port you to Ironforge. All right, Nick. Bet. I'm over. I'm, I'm going that way. All right. Step one. I, I do have... Uh... What's this one? I have camouflage, so I, I move quickly, and I have master deception. Um, there's one other thing I can do to up my stealth. I think I have those boots. Uh, what are those boots called? Am I gonna be trapped in here? Kind of. All right. Um, I have the boots of displacement, I think they're called, out of Nax, which will help my stealth a little bit more. Take the Loch Modan tunnel in Searing Gorge. Yeah, but Blade, if I can get teleported to Ironforge, you can't beat that. I mean, I might die, but that is a risk I'm willing to take. I've already died once. This will this will be easy. Also, if you're wondering, uh, you see the name George uh, Korupakis up on uh, stream a lot. That's one of the Turtle Wow composers, and that's what all the soundtrack you're hearing is. 
Yes, I do have a lot of gold, Alessandro. I, um... I have a, uh... My guild affectionately calls her my the trash mage. All she does is just f rifle through the trash and farm lashers and and pick herbs. Um, that that has helped my gold situation. Okay. Um, all right, I'm at the dock. Um, wait, who said? Who said that they would meet me on the docks? Nick Raiden, who is... Okay, gotcha. Let me, uh... Oh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Is anyone else closer than here? Oh, are there two music tracks playing at once? Why is that? Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. I know what's going on. Hold on, I can fix this. I hear it now, too. There it is. Should be fixed. Uh, there, there are two music tracks. It wasn't just you. Because the thing is, is I, I mean, we got to get a move on before the server reset happens. Oh, I should probably get out my, my nifty boots of displacement. Also, when you see an inventory like this, you know I have over a thousand gold. Look, look how much junk I've, I've gathered. All right, uh, displace, there they are, there they are. Okay, this, this should help my chances. Um, I'll just put them on. They look pretty derpy, but they're good. Um, well, I can't stealth onto the boat now. Oh, wait a minute, I do have a swim set. Hold on, hold, hold on a second. I got you. All right, let me take this off. And then I'll put on my swim set. No one can stop fast sea otter like Vrograg. You wish you could swim this quick. I probably swim as quick as that boat goes. Easy. No, um, that is with a trinket. I don't think my trinkets are showing. That's with the Redress Tide Crest, the Ice Pearl of Kanak Nun, and I'm using Azure Silk Belt. This doesn't matter, and the Deep Striders. There's one other piece I'm missing that I'm not gonna get because I don't care to do a rep for Blood Sail Buccaneers, but I do have 45%, no, 60% uh, swim speed bonus. Oh, you're... Rin, where did you go? <laughs> Don't know if you can stealth on the boat to Feathermoon. Might be faster. Where are you, friend? Let's just find out. All right, you are there. You're flying. You're probably going down to Desolus, I imagine, right? Does it give 20% swim speed? I didn't, I thought it just allowed you to have your basic swim speed honored, but you might be right, Revolver, I'm just not sure. You're flying towards me? Okay, I'll, I'll hang out here. All right, I'm gonna take off my swimming gear. And put on my... Sword DPS plus Boots of Displacement gear. Oh, do what? Maybe I have that cloak too. I think there's a cloak that gives me additional stealth. It's like a quest cloak too. It's like an old one. Um, let's see here. What do we have? Hmm, I could make my client crash if I told it to organize all this. Uh, that's shifting cloak. 
Where are my other cloaks? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort it. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I love making my game drop frames because I say sort in my bags. Um, all right, glacial cloak. That's not it. Gaia's embrace. Nope. And Anexia scale cloak. No, none of those are them. So I don't think I have the item anymore. I think, yeah, I think there is a cloak that boosts your stealth by one or something. Oh, is it the bat skin cloak? Yeah, I, that might be. That might be. I don't, uh, Atlas, loose th Atlas loot throws a lot of errors for me, so I don't, I don't usually keep it on. But I, uh, I think you might be right. Uh, where's the bird? Don't mind me. I mean, like, where where is their hippogriff rider person? I mean no harm. I mean no one any harm. Ah, uh, there it is. I mean... It would be so funny. To, I really like sapping people. I don't like ganking people, especially lobies, but I love I love sapping them just to be like, hey, you know, could have happened, right? <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh, wait a minute. I mean, I mean, it's only courteous for me to pickpocket them. I mean, they're not using that gold for anything. Hehehehe. <laughs> Oh, Alessandro, you're correct. There is an enchant for it. It's a very seldomly used one, but it's out there. Who are these people? And do they have gold? They do. How nice. Pickpocketing is one of the best RP and PvE melding of universes there is. All right. Let's check. Oh, yep. Yeah. See, there's, there's Reinhardt flying down. Let me see if I can find that cloak, too, because now I'm thinking about it. Um, bat skin cloak. Bat? Just do, type in bat. I'm sure that'll be it. Nope, that's not. This isn't helping. Is it primal bat? Uh, no, that doesn't even have a cloak. Okay. Nope. Um, oh yeah, Ricky, I can, uh, I can take a look for you. Uh, let me just draw that up. Um, so we'd be looking at turtle. Wow. Dot org. Uh, let me just show you guys what I'm looking at here. Um, we go to, I think it's under tools. Um, uh, maybe not. Our features. Um, uh, population graph. There it is. Um, I mean, so Ricky, I suppose population's gone down from where it was back in August, but, um, this month it's stayed pretty stable. Hope that answers your question. Oh, sorry. I'm almost at. Oh, you guys both made it here. I'll invite you to, friend. Remember, I am. I am not. I am not engaging in. How did I get flagged? Was pickpocketing them enough? All right. Okay, come on. Oh, geez. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I realized I had this up still. Okay. Everyone play cool. Everyone play cool. I know there's a thief catcher out there and I really don't want to bother them. All right, let's see. Uh, I got a state of the, state of the right, state of the right. Okay. Oh, geez. I got caught in the pool. All right. If you guys know which one the thief catcher is, let me know. Cause I don't know. I have, I have vanish and I do have preparation. Oh, geez. Thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. You guys are missing all the action. I, 
I thought I turned it off. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting my uh, priest guildy friend in. All right, is that the thief catcher? Oh, that's the thief catcher. I can't go near him. I think I might make it out beforehand. Can someone talk to him? Like, yeah, just just chat him up. Chat him up. He'd love to chat. Well, I don't know what that guy does. Okay, we're almost out. Oh, really? Nice. Uh, Blade is telling me that it is not limited stock, so that is good. Home free! There's no thief catchers out here, so it should be alright. Thank you, Durgan. I appreciate the escort. Why people hate playing tank? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Alright, let me see. So we just gotta... I want to get to where I'm not going to get, like, inundated with Iron Forge guards. I think I got to jump down a little bit, and that should be good. Okay. All right, I think we're good now. I'll have to stealth again to get into Nomer. All right, I'm going to take this road... It shouldn't be that bad. I know, um, Bladesa is over there already, so that's good. I'm going to see if I can sneak to Bladesa, who's going to see if they can mind it. I don't know how that would work, by the way. You mind control me, and then I can, can I still act when I'm mind controlled? I thought you couldn't. Uh, and you know, Anna Real, you're you're real for saying that. It, tanking is a more stressful and challenging job, and a lot of people don't want to play the game for that reason. Some people like being challenged, and I I, I understand why some people just don't want to tank. I'll, I'll see Alessandro if I can get you one. I will, promise. If not, I'll ask Blade. <laughs> Alright, here we go. All right. Now, I've been here before. Uh, I was here initially for the, uh, the PTR when I was making the survival guide video. Alright. Oh, I can't actually help you. It's bind on pick up. Alessandro, I apologize. Oh, great. Now you guys have to see that I have all the textures messed up here. Well, you are never going to see Nomer quite like this. I guarantee you that. All right, is there thief catchers here? I don't know if there's thief catchers here. Uh, to, any, to any developer or GM watching this, I, I am not hacking this... This is probably more of a handicap than anything else. Oh, so I do Machinima and I use Magenta, Magenta Screen for Alpha Keen. And I only do it with GNOME stuff and I didn't turn it off. So everything's Magenta in here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nothing suspicious here. All right, okay, okay. I'm following, I'm following. All right. Now, let's just see if I can talk to them, right? Um, okay. Hello. Hello? I can't talk to them. Oh, no. I wanted the cute cottontail rabbit. Hey, we're cool. We're cool, though, right? I mean, if I can't have it, no one can. What? How are you? Flo oh, you're doing the thing, right? Uh, at least I could just pickpocket you. Well, that's a bummer. At least you guys get to see Magenta Nomer. Hope you're enjoying that. So I can't get it because I can't go to the Traveler base. 
And I can't get it because I'm not Alliance. Um, hmm. Yeah, but, but Rin, it's bind on pickup. The second you grab it, it's bound to... Yeah, see? Exactly. You can't even sell them. I wanted it for Vrograg. Every day we stray further from Thrall. Yeah. Oh, man. Anyone from Traveler here? Oh, you know what? I, I will risk it. Join world. Okay. Is anyone on right now from the Traveler... Guild. Oh man, now they're teasing me about the bunny. I mean, fair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slink my way out of here. I don't want to cause any problems. Not for the fine folk here. Um, tra traveler, the guilds. Anyone heard of it? Oh, I, you're right. Well, that's that's one of the reasons why I block chat out for you guys. For some reason, I'm not flagged anymore, which is weird. Okay, yo, good, Rin, good idea. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go straight to who. Who? Traveler. Okay, let's see. Anyone I might know? No one I know off rip. Um, so do that. And I think this is the highest ranking person, maybe? Okay, let me, let's just try to whisper them. Oh, wait, there's there's a warlock. There's a warlock. That's, that's, that's... No, they're in Blackrock Spire. Hmm, wetlands? Oh. <sighs> There might not be enough people. Excuse me. I am very interested to get to your guild base. Is there anyone on that could help me? Well, I'm going to copy this and send it to a bunch of other ones too. Don't tell them. Uh, try this person. Oh, they're AFK. Great. I'm not. I'm not harassing people, Blade. I just want to get to their guild base. Um, I don't know what Bio Goger is doing. I think. Traveler also might be an EU guild. They're probably half asleep. I'm also going to leave world. <laughs> that was the right move. Dang it. Are they actually in Traveler? They, oh, wait. <gasps> okay, good, 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 good. I thought they weren't for some reason. Uh, I'm just going to whisper the whole guild. I haven't got a whisper back, guys. I'm running out of names. Oh, it's not gonna happen. I am interested in joining. I love the guild location. Could I join the guild? Ah, fell. Fell thought. Oh, it's Lothlands. We, we have an inside connection. Spread, spread the word. Frograg needs 
traveler summons or I can take a guild invite. That's big brain. That's big brain. Fell, fell thoughts on my side. All right. Uh, I, I know this isn't riveting, guys. You can't see the chat. I just generally try to block the chat just in case anyone says anything sensitive. Um, can you do guild invite? Also, I'm telling I'm telling their guild master that I'm also not a troublemaker. No one, no one narc. Okay, do not narc and say why I secretly want into their guild base. <laughs> this is my only chance to get the cottontail. Getting GM to do it. I don't have the role on this character. Okay, okay, okay. I will let you in on a top secret if you can invite me. Just let me know when I should G quit uh, on this side. This is gonna work out, guys. It's all gonna work out. The plan's all coming together. I need to get further away from Nomergan too. Is my, is my, okay, my tabard is not on cooldown, so that's perfect. Oh, I just walked through a guard, that's not good. Okay. G quit. Ready for invite. Work like a charm. They have no idea. They have no idea. Um, if I can get a warlock over there, I'll try. Would you like to know the secret? They are removing bunnies from your innkeeper. Also, I do want to say this is this is a very pretty place. All right, we gotta find. It's got to be up here, right? Yeah. Uh, I know, I know. I, I, Blade, Blade, help me out once I get once I get what I came here for. Where where's the guild? Where's the guild mass? Oh. Is, is this it? Oh yeah, there she is. Let's go! We got it! Look at that! Thank you a thousand times. I can't get the rabbit otherwise. Traveler is a great guild, but I think Black Wingard is going to throw a fit if I quit. <laughs> okay, and we will trade. Give him 20 gold. Take the gold as a guild donation.
Uh, as you say. And thanks, traveler, for having me. I got the rabbit. Uh, I got to do the, I got to do my, uh, my catch line, right? Rem remember, deadliest weapon is knowledge. There it is. Done. Easy. G quit. Um, Blade, if you are hearing me or someone, thank you. Now they know why. Oh, and uh, Fefarone is saying we're open to everyone if you're nice. And let that be a nice little message to everyone right now that if you're nice, um, you might have a home here in Traveler. I'll show stream around your wonderful home you have here. Let me see the balcony. Lovely stuff. The Zeppelin is decommissioned, of course. But it's nice. Uh, we're on top of the Western Twin Colossal. Oh, hello. Lovely base. They are removing the bunny from your vendor here. I had to act quick. Thanks for the help. Oh, this is a dead end. It's really cool they got like a they actually have a, a Zeppelin model up here. Yeah, uh, Alessandro, just just be just be polite. And also offer to give Traveler a donation if you can. Just because it's a nice thing to do. Also, Traveler's a nice guild. If I think they're EU, so if you're EU, you might want to check them out. I can imagine revolver. I don't. Were you here when I fell off? I've already fallen off once. They also have a. Uh, they have their own little mount here, and Ravika, their bartender, nice. Pretty pretty standard fare. They also have a Dinka drinker. What does that mean? Huh. And oh, they even have a they have a forge and a blacksmithing supply person there. That's great. Well. Thanks again, traveler. Oh, I should probably put the brackets in it. Um, and then we'll do... Actually, I should probably get a screenshot. I won't be up here very often. Oh, jeez. I just messed up my whole message. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right. All right. Um, we'll do a little V. Hello? V? Okay. And now V. Now I have proof that I was here. Oh, what does this thing do? Shortwave radio? Oh, cool. They have a couple music tracks that can play here. That's neat. Yeah, some of the guild bases have nice little cute things. Um, Yeah, exactly, Reinhardt. They, they do have a griffin to get down. 
Um, yeah. Uh, B101 has the right of it. That's exactly what happened. They they just don't have the staff to make... Like, when your population's like 1, maybe 2K, you can kind of pull this off. But when you have as many people as they had, especially this summer, they had to put the kibosh on it. Uh, thank you for joining me on my bunny adventure. Look at Look at him. He's so worth it. My little dude. Oh, look at him. He's precious. I can't think of a single better way to end stream than on the successful acquirement acquiring of the Cottontail Rabbit. I have to go do damage control now with my guild. I didn't let them know that I would be quitting. <laughs> but the Cottontail Rabbit was worth it. Um, so just a reminder too, I'm not going to be streaming this weekend. Uh, I will be celebrating Easter. Uh, I married into a church family, so I'm very busy this weekend. Um, if you're celebrating, I hope you have a nice Easter weekend as well. If not, just enjoy the weekend. Hopefully the weather will be nice where you're at. I also hope you like the news. I should be able to get another one out next week as well we'll see what happens no promises i i don't exactly know how crazy that every easter weekend's a little different so i appreciate you guys stopping by asking some questions coming on with me with a little side diversion quest whatever this was <laughs> and uh testing out my uh my mug where was that thing my mug there it is Woo. um yeah so You'll probably hear from me next on another news broadcast. But until then, make sure whatever you're doing in video game land, that you're having fun. Also, be safe. And as always, the deadliest weapon is knowledge. <laughs>